and welcome to another Brett Plays flight and review video. Today I'm taking out the Demos Inc. SU27. This one's just coming to the market and something I've actually been playing around with now for the last six months with uh, the developer. Uh, going through the testing phase, it's actually a lot of fun to fly. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll take a good in-depth look and go through the checklist startup have a look at the uh, full aircraft. Uh, there's also a bunch of liveries which I will pop uh, in right about here. Okay, the interior liveries, the one we're actually uh, flying today. Go back to. So we're using the SU27 Ocean. We do have a blue digital. This is. Ukrainian Ghost, also Ukrainian. So that's the uh, black, white, grey. Splinter, Russian, three tone, white, grey. It actually has a blue underneath as well. Arctic, also Russian, more of a darker grey white, not straight lines. Polar, more jagged, darker colours there as well. We have a desert, also Russian. Most of these will be Russian. The ocean that we were doing, there is also a forest. Which is your green jagged camo. Digital. We have night one and night two. The Russian display team. This one does look like it has slightly different color. You can see that that's all dark. That's uh, got the blue, light blue in it. A fictitious Italian tribute to the developers. Uh, country the bunker squadron tribute livery bunker squadron and the su-27 in black very similar to the uh, su-47 uh, experimental aircraft in the black with a white nose uh, it does have a green underneath though. Mm, green grey. And we'll go back to Ocean, which I'm using today. So that's the liveries. And then we'll go and have a look inside. So <clears throat> exterior details. Now I'm taking the Ocean Blue Russian livery today. They all seem to have about the same wear and tear uh, grit underneath, from what I can see. Which is probably actually not too bad, because it actually does look like uh, used aircraft rather than a factory fresh off the uh, front line. Good 3D model. Can see some extra lights there. Now anything I can find in this review, I can let the developer know. That's probably actually a marker point for these lights. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Looks like we've got our vents shut. We'll have a look once it actually gets going as well. Tags are still on the undercarriage, I'm guessing. Yep. Now before we go through the checklist, we'll actually put in some weapons as well, see what they look like. 
there will be weapons available for you on flightsim.to. You buy this in the marketplace for PC and Xbox. But if you want to have weapons, you can only get it for the PC version. And if we pop in on our... See if we can get this out of the way. All right. Smoke pods. If we put in a 101... We'll put in some smoke pods. Yes, you can use smoke on this. 101. Anything over 100. Uh, so we've got our inner. So they may not be 100% uh, weight correct on these. At the moment, they're just put in as a 100. Anything over 100 pounds will actually get you your weapons set. So we have the... I actually don't know what uh, weapons these are. Someone else can write in the comments. I don't know my uh, Russian set of weapons. Smoke pods on the end. Obviously, we look like we've got larger size ones uh, further in. Uh, same on the other side. Now, you can uh, fly with or without those. Doesn't seem to be that you can put in just the weapon stations without the weapons on it so um, depending on whether you want to fly clean or full weapons but like I said you can uh, enter in the weight so if you don't want anything except the smoke pods or you just want the outer or the inner so we'll go back to the fuel and weight and type in zero Delete zero, delete zero, done. All right, so we'll actually fly this particular one clean today. And uh, I have no name on the side there, but there is a way of putting that in. So let's go jump inside and run through the startup. So the cockpit, very nice. I've uh, compared it with uh photographs of what i can find online and actually quite impressive um now it could be the 3d model of that but uh demos inc has been doing some uh, handy work on this one so what we will have is a full checklist startup so i'm going to go through that right now with you just so you can see what detail there is here so parking brake Looks like a handbrake. We've already got it on. Canopy is open. I already did that. The canopy button is right here in this little yellow uh, area. Ladder is available. Ladder can be... There it is. Now, this is the English version. So if you are looking for one in Russian, uh, not yet translated, we are using an English version, so this would be potentially like one of the ones that the US might have got their hands on for testing and training, or for the English audience like myself. Now, we can actually have it uh, on or off, throttle position to idle. Uh, we do have our pilots. This is also VR setup, so we do have a pilot here. Uh, when we get into our uh, view, and I'll show the pilot later, uh, he doesn't have the head on there, so that's where your VR goggles will go, and you can look around the cockpit and see your own body. Main power, let's put the main power on. So, battery on. Navigation lights on. Cabin lights as required. That's a click button. Panel lights as required. Uh, that's a click button. Okay, map brightness is a scroll. That's a click button. That's a click button. All right, well, we don't need those because we are actually uh, in the day. APU on. This will actually do both. There we go. You can hear that starting up. We want the uh, APU to come all the way up to 100%. Right hand side is coming up. Now the left, 
Left seems to go much quicker. Outside sounds. Still got our plugs in. That'll automatically be taken out when we go to start. So let's tick that one. Engine starts AVR, A, Avionics Master. Now there is a way of putting the plugs out. Uh, if I can remember where that is. Uh, you can manually turn them on and off. You know what? We'll just leave it for now. Follow the checklist. So, oops. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. We're going to go to Avionics on. I didn't highlight where... Because I moved around. There. Avionics master. Thank you. Anti-collision lights. On this side here. Thank you. Fuel on number two. Fuel. Engine start number two. Press button. Thank you. Let's make sure that goes to 60%. That has taken our tags off. So that part's automatic. So now we're just waiting for this to uh, run up to 60%. I guess this one here that goes up. Yep, there we go. Loud because the uh, cockpit is still open. Okay, that's sixty percent. Yep. Engine one. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn my own volume down. Engine one, fuel on. Engine two, start. Tick, go and check. Should go up to the same. What we'll do is have a look out here. Should see a heat blur coming out of the right engine only. Yes. Still starting. There we go. Coming up to sixty per cent. Okay, after start. APU off. So we can press that button again. There we go, you should see it drop down. Ladder removed. My second one coming down. Yep. Okay, very good. Alright, remove the ladder. Ladder is removed. Shut the canopy. There's my little yellow button. There it is. Happy down. Oh, love that sound. I uh, should have opened and closed it with uh, the engines off. We'll do that when we actually land, I believe. Oxygen on. Oxygen is under the left here. Okay, oxygen is on. Heads up display on. Let's actually go up so we can see it. Other way. Using the rollerball here to make it much brighter. That'll do. Thank you. Annunciators. Do we have any lights on? Stall. No fire. Level flight is set for flaps, I'm guessing. 
canopy's closed, so all the annunciator panel lights are off. All right, taxi lights. Taxi lights are here. Now, this is not going to show everything that's in here, so what I'll do is, once we get ready for, uh, actually, you know what, I think we're ready now. So we've got a tick, parking brake, I will turn off uh, later. So let's have a quick look at what else there is on this aircraft before we actually taxi. So, your helmet, we have clothes, ventilation, cockpit, helmet ventilation. So you can roll your ball mouse between the two. Right. Or click. Okay, you can do both. All right, there we go. We can click on the way back and get ventilation cockpit. Now, I don't believe that actually does anything in visually. Nope. Pilot's still there, looking the same. All right, up or down? There's no down. So I can't go off now. All right, aircraft, uh, now these are clickable. They're mm, aircraft and power N1. Aircraft power N2, the radio N1, radio N2, uh, master system on. We do, can use, was it PT, T, C, I, or T1? Okay, not 100% sure what that is because I'm not uh, adverse on that. I think that's our weapons. No, that's our pumps. Okay, so is that from which fuel tank we're taking? Or swapping? Leave that off for this particular one. We've got our transponder. Uh, pop in your code. Actually, that only turns with the rollerball. It's not changing these, but I think that's why you've got to do it here. Yeah, there we go. So you can actually drag that uh, with the rolly ball and change your, your codes, transponder. Uh, I'm not sure where that's changing, whether that's changing it somewhere else over there. Now I can't move the throttle forward uh, to see underneath here. Uh, it's inoperative. Our volumes, this is our comms underneath. Uh, what else do we have here? Air brake in. That's all throttle. Temp selector. I think that's actually behind. It is too. Okay. Can change our. Uh, well, let's see if we can get underneath there. There we go. Alright, this is where we're changing our comms. Okay, second level, COM2, NAV1, COM2, okay, very good, COM1, these are all in, ad, in operative, alright, but you can swap your comms, probably a little better when your uh, throttle is up somewhat, there's your windshield de-ice, landing lights on, that is actually on our next set, um, we, don't, we went with our taxi lights, so the next item on our checklist is to turn those lights on the strobe light is already on we did that part of the okay so a flaps lever is auto flight or land you can actually change that as you need it uh, we won't right now heading our AP autopilot disconnect VNAV vertical speed Flight level change mode. I think that's what FLC means. Someone can actually tell me if I'm wrong. Flight director, your heading and your nav mode. What else do we have? Uh, ECMC. Is that electronic countermeasures? Okay. Alright, all those actually do come on. Oh, your know, RXU3 is off. Um, I'm not actually sure what those are. Someone else can write it down there. So your HMS brightness, target size, uh, target adjust, 
these are actually clickable, not yet operative for that. Uh, inner, auto or outer. I'm not 100% sure if that's our trim. No, trim RD, rudder your trim position indicator. Okay. If I put that to auto, I think it's actually the fuel where it's coming from. Alright, what else do we have under here? Gear down, cooler. We do have a cooler. Slats has nothing there. Okay. Make our way around the cockpit. We already did our brightness. We can change our barrow to a radar or barrow. Yep. These are enunciators, they're not clickable. Uh, we can remove, oh there we go, that's the one I wanted. Remove the chocks uh, and the flags is next to, oh and also the plugs for the rear engines. It's next to the ladder. Uh, emergency jettison doesn't work. Now if you're buying this in the marketplace, it doesn't automatically come with weapons. You have to go to flightsim.to uh, when the developer actually does release it there. Uh, the weapons pack that comes with it. He has done that for a lot of his other aircraft. Can we hide the yoke? Yes, we can. Trim is not. Uh, I think that comes on only when I apply the brakes. I am, yep, brakes. Okay. That's me pressing my brakes. But I do have the park brake on as well. Uh, don't fuel, I was going to say that looks like a, um, a tap or a faucet as they call it in the US. Um, that's where you can dump your fuel. I guess you need to land uh, a lot lighter. Okay, emergency pito lever. Emergency pito lever, alright. Also have canopy uh, jettison, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it does jettison your canopy. You will sit there with uh, no canopy, it will be loud while your engines are on, and you cannot reset it uh, as far as I know at the moment without loading back in. All right, we do have a uh, number thing here for your target preset recorder BIT non pressable buttons, but these are pressable buttons. Approach mode, locator mode, reset, 180 off, HP main, and PH main. Alright, digital control. I'm not even sure what digital control is. Uni DIR, is that for direction? Oh, yeah, nav, land, center. So I can move that with a rollerball. Okay. These are pressable UHF radios, if you want it. Oh, no, it doesn't seem to want to move. Identification, not pressable. Directions, yes, STS. Guidance and RWS is, oh, not pressable. Okay. Uh, this is your chaff and or um, flare. You can change your intervals on this. No, you cannot yet. I have asked the developer to please put in the chaff or flare, preferably the flares. Kind of along the lines of what the Dot Friends guys um, have done. Uh, he will have to do extra work for that though. But it would be nice to be able to click three or four flares and have it as a button that you can press and out goes a bunch of flares. Um, need the Wassum in there apparently and a lot more work to be done. But that would be cool. Uh, our RWS detector. So there's a whole bunch of, and then our panel lights again, we did that, all right, and our batteries and our AC generator. Cool. And our alternator, we have one on, but we don't seem to have the other one on. All right, right-hand side alternator is on. 
and uh, set ejection seat is inoperative. All right, uh, what else have I missed? We that's our uh, APU. Okay, I think I've been around the aircraft. Let's have a quick look at the standard views for this. Uh, default, there's one movement that looks just straight down at your cockpit. That's on the um, hat, default hat for Microsoft Flight Sim. Up, go down, down again, puts a reverse for the uh, pilot. Then we have over the shoulder, over the head. I actually don't mind that view, we'll, we'll try that today. Uh, we have right panel, rear right panel, front, uh, main panel, left panel, front, right, uh, so left panel, rear, and back again. Okay. Yeah, all right. So that's our uh, set of views. Default. Yes, all right. That's default view. Let's give this a taxi. Taxi lights are on. We do come, what well, looks like a uh, power unit, ground power unit. Uh, as default for this. So, foot on the brake, park brake off. Let's see if we can do a quick turn around and not run over that gentleman on the left. Now, I will have chapters in here. If you are watching this in one go and you want to go back and look at a certain part, either now or in the future, I'll have chapters so that you can skip between startup, views, taxi, and takeoff flight landing and it allows you to actually jump through and see different parts try to do that with most of my longer reviews all right handles pretty good on the uh taxiway i must admit we are quite a large aircraft in comparison to that uh china eastern and china eastern mate are you gonna uh you gonna move i don't want to go out there Now, this particular aircraft is flown by Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Indonesia, India, China, and Vietnam. We only have liveries for, as you saw earlier, the Ukrainian, Russian, and one, uh, Actually, two fictitious. Um, one's Italian, and one is the um, personal livery for the. Uh, can't remember the name of it now. The guys, as I showed before, there will be a kit, a paint kit that will come out for this. So um, keep an eye out on flightsim.to. You'll be able to get. Uh, bunch more paint jobs I would imagine soon people are pretty quick at doing that now we're going to take off on a bit of a shorter runway here on runway 7 yeah he's going to go into my parking spot thank you Easton all right we won't be parking there on the way back unless he's gone all right so we should have enough power to take off here anyway about half a runway I will give this a full burn. We are going to put the park brake back on while I go back in here and turn the landing lights. So taxi lights off, landing lights on. If we look at the checklist, you will see that these things are in here. So after taxi, park brake, yes. Moving on. Canopy is closed, yes it is. Landing lights are on, yes they are. On takeoff, landing gear up, taxi light as required and landing lights as required. That's cool. Uh, in If you're actually looking for landing, will be flaps to the land, landing gear down and landing lights. So we won't do any of that at the moment. We're just gonna go and have some fun. I will do a full burn and a immediate climb. Not quite the Cobra move, but we can do that in this particular aircraft. So let's see what we, we can do here. I'll just... Uh, Line up there. There we go. Oh, I've tail struck. That was my fault. I pulled back too soon. Oh man, we're gonna need to try that again. All right. 
you can pull back too soon like I did so that's a no-no tail strut this thing is out so far there what we will do we can do have a fairly maneuverable aircraft we will actually go and land it back down on that runway and try that again I'm going to leave that in there. Mistakes can be made. I certainly make them. Alright, speed brake. Oh, I felt that. Gear down. I hope I didn't accidentally hit my park brake there. Oh, I left that a little bit too late. Yep. Now I'm not going to use that landing, uh, oh there's an airline on the runway. Alright, we will have parachutes up to a certain speed and then they should be removed, there we go, and we can also shut down our break but if we open that you'll see the little cone on the end also open but I only won't get the uh, the parachutes at a certain speed all right let's try that again on a takeoff here and that's a short runway but we're going to give it a go There we go, and then we we'll give it a, a rock four up, and we're up already. It has plenty of power, which is awesome. Alright, what we'll do is we'll give this a quick run up the uh, coast here, just heading north. Give it a full burn, see what speed we can get to over these uh, aircraft carriers. Why don't you do a quick climb? So full power. Let's do a 30 degree climb. Where are we going? 35,000 feet per minute. I'd say we're over Mark 1, are we? Uh, for this altitude? Sure, it must be pretty close. The sound does disappear. Right, let's take this to the north. Now oh, we must have hit 30,000 feet almost. Getting a. Uh, it does have a dirty smoke uh, trail, very similar to the MiG-29 from the same developer. Which, to be honest, is uh, probably not too unrealistic. Um, now we're at 33, we're definitely getting a decent con trail. Alright, so let's... Uh, are we heading north? Close enough. Alright, so let's actually hold the altitude there, heading to north. Now, as you can see, we do have a heads-up display that is hidden just a little bit. I have talked with the developer. Press spacebar, you've got your whole heads-up display. It is set up primarily for uh, VR. So, uh, where do we have our pilot? Pilot name on and pilot on. So, here's my pilot. I'll press that there, there and there, come back, you can actually see uh, my throttle goes back and forth, oh I've hidden the uh, yoke didn't I, okay, unhide, there we go, so throttle back and forth, well it does look like my park brake was on, that was a bit of an annoying thing, I probably took off with park brake on, no wonder it was a bit slow, 
so we are at 1.43, 36,000 feet. We'll probably actually take this up another few and we'll do radar altitude there. I do know I can get to 2.26 in this at 40,000 feet. So if you don't want the pilot on, and I did show you the pilot name, so on the uh, next to the canopy here, Brett Play, S doesn't uh, fit because they don't seem to um, give enough room for that. Contrail and the dirty uh, engine smoke. So we're at 1.85 mark. Still climbing slightly. What are we climbing to? 37.5, let's actually run that right to the 40 that I mentioned earlier. I'm just using my uh, controls to raise it by 100 feet increments. 2.08. So we do have some sound here. Go around. I'm not getting the sonic boom there. I wonder if the sonic boom is now actually so far behind that it doesn't go boom straight away. Hmm. Alright, 2.18. That's my heading. I might actually turn this to south. Using my controls to actually do that. Speed is 2.23 and we're doing a full 2.24 and we're doing a full 180 degree turn. 2.25 and I think that's about where you'll get. Now we are just coming up on 40,000 now. 2.26, there we go. Same as what my maximum I've done this before. Maybe you get more in a dive. All right, let's go return home. Autopilot off, throttle back. Let's see if we get the vapor. Yeah, we do. And we pull back really hard and get a lot of G-force in that. Can't read my G's. 6.2, no, 5. Still a 5G. Who? Right, let's head back to Sydney. So this is VR friendly. Look at this thing uh, sitting. So she hold level there straight. Thank you. Out. Hold. Yep. Select. Direction. I should go right there, thank you. Okay, you can actually uh, divert these mirrors as you need. They're not 100%, like, I haven't seen any aircraft that shows an exact uh, reflection of what's right there behind you. It, it kind of shows the cloud and stuff, but you're not getting 100% detail. I don't know if that's a, a Sobo thing or too much detail or whether it's an aircraft manufacturer can't can't put in that much but you can move these all the way out so that you don't get the uh, sun reflection if you want to well done Oop, didn't like me moving the mouse there tried just to roll the ball on these all right so we are running back to Sydney now at uh, two point 2.12 mark. Alright. As you can see, I'm coming in too fast. I'm actually getting uh, some lag. Uh, let's actually back that off. That seems not liking me racing in. There we go. 
slow down it goes yeah right now I can uh, work out what you're doing all right let's take autopilot off point it down towards the airport oh that's a little bit too far Different levels of burn there. You can see the uh, thrust coming out blue. Obviously, the heat blur. If I push that to maximum, opens up and we get a extra bit of flame inch of burn. Very nice. Also, notice that uh, depending on which angle you're on, it looks different. really did go very far north. Okay, so I'm going to bring it in on uh, the longest runway here at Sydney. 16, I think. Right. Default view. Yeah, you need your space bar to go up. I mean, you can lift yourself up or down. And I was going to say that I will show you those other views. There we go. Not this one. Yeah. Shoulder view or over the, the head view. Now that's actually quite good at seeing from inside the cockpit where this airport is, from which we're coming in way too fast. Over the shoulder or reverse view, which is a bit of fun. Didn't like me going so far north. Okay. Alright, default view. Let's back this off. Now we want to put our landing flaps on. Where are you? There you are. I can't seem to put them on to land. Do I need my gear down first? They are on auto. Let's put the speed brake on. Are you down? seem to actually change it from flight from auto. Not sure whether I'm supposed to be under a certain speed. Probably. Uh, that might actually help to have the checklist back on. Flaps to land. Probably too late now. Oh, let's actually turn that back off. It does float. Okay, a little touch of smoke. Oh, I bounced. And I've gone sideways. Probably should put that brake on. There we go. Yeah, parachute might actually help. And nose down and foot brake on. Okay, foot brake released. Alright, autopilot on, we'll actually turn the flaps on. Okay, I wonder if that's the issue. You need to actually put on autopilot and approach. 
to have those come on. It seemed to be what happened. All right, um, look, this is the SU-27. We're going to do a shutdown back at uh, wherever we can find a place to land. It does require you to go a certain speed in order to turn there. I noticed I was having a little trouble until I dropped below a certain speed. Makes sense. A lot of aircraft have that. see if we've missed anything else I don't think so if I have or well, you've got questions put a question in the description if you're finding something's not working with yours uh, absolutely put a, uh, a note down below and I can actually forward it on to the developer uh, at least see if we can get things fixed so PL PIL Viz and PIL Name uh, is the name below the window there and having the pilot viewable which is what I have now isn't it yeah all right let's see if we can find another parking space I'll put that China Air is gone far enough away that they despawn. Final thoughts. Uh, I'm very happy with this one. Again, uh, I have been working on this one for probably uh, six months now, so I have seen how well it's been changing and what's been uh, developed, so I'm quite happy with it. Looking forward to uh, being able to fly these with a bunch of other people on my multiplayer uh, streams. We do like to get the uh, jets out and about. Might have to make a jet series, a new one. All right, back at our parking spot. Very good. I think we'll just take it all the way down towards the uh, parking numbers there. Oh, beautiful. Alright, park brake on. Now let's do the checklist of uh, after landing. So we've got uh, landing, thank you. We didn't actually put our lights on, did we? No, we didn't take them off. Alright, park brake is on, so... Tick. We want the APU back on, so let's press that button. There we go, thank you. Tick. That'll come up in a moment. Okay, so we'll wait till that goes all the way up before we turn off our engines. But I am going to tick that and shut down will be the same ones we turn fuel on and fuel off. Remember, we actually press this button to start it. Turn the fuel off. Okay, it's all the way up. Engine 1 is off. Engine 2, same deal. Uh, right next to it, engine 2. Off. Anti-collision lights. Off. We can turn the APU off if we need to now. We only just started, but you know what? That's fine. Let's shut it down. Navigation lights off. Canopy open. Remember, it's that little yellow button in. Oh, sorry, little button inside the yellow circle. There's the sound I said I would show. Let's try that again, just so you can hear it. Oh, I like it. And it also does dampen the noise outside. All right, ladder available. Very good. We'll actually turn the uh, name off as well. Avionics Master off, uh, which is down here. And main power off, which is the one next to it. And it should kick both off. Yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. We also don't need the other generator on. Okay, cool. Generator? Yeah. All right. Uh, that's actually all of the items there. Now, I'm, look, if I missed anything or... Okay, so I'm not... Um, oh, I turned it back on, didn't I? 
I'm not uh, by any means an expert on military aircraft. Um, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, smoke is on there, but you do need the canisters on uh, the wings, which you can't see from here. So you have to put your weight in there for the um, smoke pods, and then you can use the white smoke, which is not going to work now because we are shut down. If I did miss anything, I got something wrong. Look, put a comment down below. Yes, uh, Microsoft Flight Sim is not a military sim, but it's still fun to fly these aircraft in a non-military combative role. We can jettison the canopy. We'll probably do that now since I'm going to finish this anyway. So if we were to close. There you go. Bang. It's gone. Uh, and you won't get that back. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and uh, this should be available by the time you see this in the Microsoft Flight Sim Marketplace for PC and Xbox. Have a great day, cheers, bye.